any time you have to play them in Knoxville, Tennessee. And on a partly cloudy day with the sun popping through on occasion, with a temperature at about 63 degrees, this is Doug Layton, along with John Forney, Jerry Duncan, our engineer Jimmy Jones, and our producer, Burke Banks, inviting you to stay tuned for Alabama versus Tennessee. And we'll be back with some pregame comments in just a moment. But first, in Louisiana, the Tigers did the men 20 to 10, but having to come from behind in the second half to do that. We'll be back with more pregame comments in just a moment. But first, let's pause 60 seconds. Judge Bill Stanton, the back judge Billy Tees, the electric clock operator Dick Burleson. A beautiful afternoon in Knoxville, and there is the toss of the coin by referee Joe Hicks. The captains peer in. Alabama has won the toss. They, rather than simply stand up and guard it. And we'll have about a seven-yard run up by Townsend. He bursts it. The kick floats down to Willie really Shelby, about three yards deep in the end zone. He is not going to run it out. From a full house wishbone, Tennessee with a five-man front. Over there takes, spins, gets to Shelby. Shelby fumbles the football. It's going to be recovered at the 15-yard line by the Tennessee Volunteers. The ball popped loose from Willie Shelby. The ball has recovered it. Coming up for the football is defensive end Ronnie McCartney. McCartney recovers at the 15. So on the very first play, the tie fumbles, and Tennessee has the ball with a magnificent Tennessee tight break. Now that's something you can't do. Tennessee can't afford fumbles. Dark in Alabama, and now the defense is really backed up. It's first and ten for Tennessee at the tied 15-yard line. The game just underway. Tennessee receivers left and right. Long count by Condridge. He gives to Carruthers. Carruthers gets about three to the 17-yard line, to the 12-yard line, and that's all. Ricky Davis came up to make the hit, and Carruthers behind. Long count by Condridge. Here's Condridge on the keeper coming at himself. He pitches back to Morgan. Morgan breaks the tackle of the 10, gets him to about the six-yard line. Ricky Davis brought him down. Mike Washington hit him. He spun away from him, and Ricky Davis had to wipe him out at the six. It should be third down on about one yard to go. As they bring it in and put it on the hash mark at the six-yard line. Tennessee ran that play to perfection. It's a little tighter this time on the third down call by Holloway. The gift to Carruthers. Carruthers diving for it. It's going to be close. He's right at the five-yard line. And the way the linesman has jumped in there, it appears he did not make it. He did not make it. It'll be fourth down. Greg Montgomery and uh, that was Richard Byron, number 69, in there on. Ricky Townsend stays on the bench. John Yarbrough has brought in the play. He's the wide man. Here is the pitch back to Morgan. Morgan's going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage, and he is. Leroy Cook throws him down at the 12-yard line. A great play by Abbeville's Leroy Cook, and he's being mobbed by his teammates. The Tide has come up with a great goal line stand. That's something that the team must have. Great defense this afternoon. And last week against Florida State, Leroy Cook had an outstanding afternoon. And uh, it looked like Condridge Holloway picked on the wrong end. Calvin Culliver and Willie Shelby. Here is the give to Shelby. Shelby this time gets it up to about the 16-yard line. Linebacker Hank Walter comes in to hit him down. About a four-yard pickup for Willie. It should be second down and six. We have no score. Second down and six at the 16-yard line. Here's the gift to Culliver. Culliver manages on a fine individual effort to get it out to the 21-yard line. Third and about a yard and a half. Jack O'Riff from full half backfield. Gift to Shelby. Shelby battles his way any more than gets the first down after the 24-yard line. Fine effort by Willie Shelby on the blocking line. Rogers and Maxwell leading the way, and it's the first first time of the afternoon. Jimmy Watt, senior slide back, came up to make the stop on a first down call. Slot to the left. O'Riff takes. Gives to Culliver on a counterplay. Culliver gets to the 25, and that's about all. Orange Jersey's gang tackle him at that point. Steve Poole led the way, and Hank Walter helped out. Wishbone backfield with wide receivers left and right. Long count by Jack. He rides it once, gives to Culliver. Culliver gets only one to the 26-yard line. He was following the block of Prune, but Robert Pulliam made a great defensive play. Uh, Jerry Duckin, so far Alabama, have been going right at the middle of Tennessee. They haven't attempted wide step at all. You think that's the plan for all day long? Slot formation to the right. O'Rear takes once, now gives to Shelby on a draw play. Shelby to the 25, gets up to about the 28, and that's all. He cannot elude Hank Walter, who made a great shoestring tackle and just simply held on to the speedster, pulled him down at the 28-yard line, and it will be fourth down coming for Alabama from their own 28. Rod Nelson takes the snap from center. He kicks. Gets a good kick against the wind. Morgan is, they're going to call for the fair catch, and out of bounds is fumbled, but Tennessee in possession at about the 35-yard line. Conjures Holloway with a wide side of the field to the right. 
Gundridge gives to his fullback, Terry Moore. Moore straight ahead to about the 40-yard line. Ronnie Robertson hit him and pulled him down. A pickup of about four yards. We'll call it second down and six as Tennessee went over their left side. Six yards to go, wide side to the right. Severs is out that way. Condridge Holloway looks at him. Long count by Condridge with the clock moving. Here's a spinner play, and Condridge fakes it. He's going to keep himself, and he's hit and brought down at about the 42. And Randy Hall led the Alabama tacklers. Also coming in there quickly were Greg Montgomery, and Mike Dubose had a hand on him, too. Alan Pesatola moving up. Third down at their own 42 for the Volunteers. Here's Condridge on faking a draw, wants to throw, look. He's going to be chased, now he's going to run out of there. He comes up close to the 44-yard line and is hit down. He does not make it. Randy Hall got him before he reached first down yardage. Ronnie Robinson was there to help out. Good play by the Alabama defense. You're right, great play by the defensive front wall, but also credit should be given to the defensive back because Condridge could not find anybody open. Even his swing man to the left was covered. And he'll have a pretty good breeze behind him. Willie Shelby waits for Alabama at his own 14-yard line. Alabama's going to rush 10 men. Here's the snap. Good pass from center. Claybo has time. He kicks it. Good kick. Willie Shelby waits for it at his 12-yard line. Takes it. Throws it in. Tries to get away from one tackler. Gets to the 15-yard line. And he's swarmed under at that point. Wayne Rose was trying to give him some uh, blocking. But the uh, Iron Jersey's Tennessean, led by Randy Burner, there's Ernie Ward, brought him down. I believe there's going to be a penalty on that play because uh, I know the Alabama fans started booing because it looked like Tennessee might have uh, piled on or something like that. But we're about to find out. Yep, that'll be the call. Personal foul being called against Tennessee. It'll be the first penalty stepped off in this ball game this afternoon and it'll be a major distance step off against the Volunteers. From the full house wishbone, Jack O'Rear gives to Calvin Coates. He keeps himself. Comes around the 30-yard line to the 40, the 50, the 40. Trying to cut in. He's going to be hit from behind, and he's pulled down at the 32-yard line. A great fake as he rode it into Calvin Culliver, then took it away from Calvin. Swept left in, moved over into Tennessee territory, and John Murdick finally pulled him down, but super running dog by Jack O'Rear. It really was, John, and something that Coach Bond has been saying that Cal Calvin Culliver needed to work on, and that's his faking, and believe you me, he faked it that time. He's in the line for an Academy Award. At the 32-yard line of Tennessee, Alabama striking with suddenness, coming from their own 30 on a brilliant keeper by Jack O'Rear. First and 10 for the tie there in Tennessee territory. They give to Shelby. Shelby inside the 30-yard line to about the 29-yard line. Andy Spiva had a hand on him, but Hank Walter is doing another fine job, and Ronnie McCartney, Culliver, and Randy Billingsley in a full house wishbone set. Here is the give this time to, Billing to Billingsley. Billingsley gets it to the 25, maybe the 24-yard line. Good running by Randy. Following the block of Jerry Brown, he's hit down by Murdick. One out of two thus far. They got a long two yards to go, and the give is to Shelby. Shelby is close to first down yardage at the 22, but it is close. We'll just have to wait for Joe Hicks and company. And Mark, the Tennessee safety, jumps up and says he thinks it's short. Well, McCartney led the tacklers with help from Hank Walter. Well, let's see. The Joe Hicks is still looking at the nope, but it's not a first down. So it'll be a fourth down and less than six inches, it looks like, for the first down. Really cool. He gives to Randy Billingsley, and Billingsley more than has his first down. Beautiful faking again by Calvin Culliver. As he came through, the Tennessee balls went for him. Billingsley slammed over the left tackle, gets it to the 15-yard line, and Steve Poole, they say the 16-yard line now, Steve Poole running down, and the wind is really picking up here at Neyland Stadium. So first and 10, Alabama, as they make a... From the wishbone backfield, it's full house. Jack O'Rear on a quick count now, gives to Culliver. Culliver left tackle maybe two yards, maybe three, to the 18-yard line in that row. Steve Poole and John Murdick were the two tacklers that came in to hit him down. So it will be third down now and 12 yards to go from the Tennessee 18. Fraley looks at about a 4-5 of volunteer front. Here's Fraley dropping back. He wants to throw. He looks, pops, throws, and it, it, interference is obvious and going to be called at about the four-yard line. It's quite obvious, John. He grabbed uh, he he had that jersey. Chuck Sam, uh, Watts, rather, grabbed Ozzie Newsom's jersey and was hanging on to it. It uh, possibly would have been a complete pass, but it doesn't matter. It'll be first down for Alabama at around the six-yard line now. So what'll that be? That'll be a penalty of... Uh, penalty of 12 yards. 12 yards. And uh, Jack O'Rear is back in at quarterback. 
He comes in. He gives to Culliver. Culliver gets it in maybe to the four, following the block of Steve Patterson. He's hit down by Steve Poole and Andy Spot. Alabama started this drive at their own 30-yard line. A big gainer by Jack O'Rear was the key play, along with that interference call. Now down where the going is tough. Jack O'Rear rolls that. Gets to Shelby. Shelby hit behind the line of scrimmage. Great play by the safety coming up, Mike Moss. Jerry Duncan, quickly down to you. Do you have any comments on the tie drive? John, it was a great play with the safety. Oh, uh, back on the interference call, it was a bad mistake for Tennessee because the ball was, I, I'm standing right down close to it, and uh, Ozzie Newsom had no chance to catch the ball whatsoever. O'Rear rides up. He gets to Culliver. Culliver battles his way into about the one-yard line. Great spinning running by the East Bruton fullback, following Sylvester Croom, who had to do a fine job and blocking the way for it. One of this series. Fourth down at the one-yard line, an eight-man Tennessee front. Full house backfield. Culliver diving. Apparently did not get it. Apparently he did not get it. So Tennessee has come up with a great goal line stand as well. Tennessee, Alabama did earlier after they recovered, after Tennessee recovered a fumble, and now the volunteers have come up with a great, great goal line stand as Alabama had it first and goal at the six-yard line. So these two fine institutions have traded superior goal line stands. We have about two minutes left to go, and Tennessee takes the ball at their own one-foot line. Condridge Holloway looks at the tied front. Holloway rolls out. He wants to throw. He's struggling to get out of the end zone, and he is really belted out of bounds at the one-yard line. Holloway. Ronnie Robertson came around and really creased Condridge and knocked him out of bounds. Long count. He has more behind him. Here's the gift to Carruthers, his fullback, who gets it maybe to the three. That's all. A pile of humanity down there. Greg Montgomery. And as they come out, Alan Pesatola had a hand on it. And Randy Hall, who's played a good game thus far. Five man front now. Long count by Condridge. He rolls out. He gives to his fullback Carruthers. He's going to be short up the 10-yard line and consequently short of first down yardage. Alan Pesatola got the hit on him, and Ronnie Robertson closed him out, and again, Randy Hall was in the vicinity also. Thus far in the ball game, Tennessee's had three third down opportunities, have not converted any. They also tried a fourth down and did not convert that one. Long count, here's a snap back to Claiborne. Alabama puts a big rush. He gets it away, had to hurry it, and Shelby waits for it at his own 45-yard line. Starting up field, trying to find some open room. He cannot do it. Fine punt coverage by Tennessee. And he's hit down, he's fumbled the football, but he had, uh, I believe he was already down at the 47-yard line. And if so, that's a tremendous break for Alabama. His one official has come in, he's planted his foot and said his forward progress was definitely stopped at the 47-yard line. Tennessee saying no. Now they're mad. The entire Tennessee bench is on the field. The Tennessee fans are crossed away, and on this side, too, you can hear, disapprove of that call. Ivory appeared that he was already down. I'm sure the whistle has been blown because he wasn't wrapped up. It'll be... You can hear him blowing in the background. The line of scrimmage is the 47. Here's the give to Rick Watson. Watson gets maybe a half yard. That's all. Robert Pulliam really slammed through with help from Hank Walter to hit him down. Give, give him a, about a one-yard pickup, and that is all. And James Taylor both in at halfback. And the fake now. No rears looking back. He wants to throw long. He's throwing to... Ozzie Newsom, and it's incomplete. Ozzie was bumped at the 23-yard line, but the official right there on the spot judged that interference was not involved, and uh, so it goes as an incomplete forward pass. John Murdick was the Tennessee defender downfield. But Alabama, rather surprisingly against the wind, Jack O'Rear went for the long one, and it will be third down and nine, and that is the end of the first quarter. End of the first quarter with a great football game from Knoxville, Tennessee, with the score Tennessee nothing, Alabama nothing. Alabama. They now have the wind at their back as we start the second quarter here at Knoxville with a no-score football game. Jack O'Rear comes out. He's pitching back to Billingsley. Billingsley's going to throw. He does. Completed and out of bounds in Tennessee territory at about the 42-yard line. It should be enough, I believe, for the first down. He threw to Mike Stock. So it was a halfback pass from Randy Billingsley to the other halfback, Mike Stock, and it is enough. That's Randy's first pass, so he's one for one for the season. Here's the give this time to Billingsley. Billingsley on a power play. That was the first pass in the ball game a few moments ago that counted by Jack O'Rear that went incomplete to Ozzie Newsom, and the second one was good from Billingsley. A four-yard pickup from the 43 to the Tennessee 39, second down and six. Jack O'Rear remains at quarterback, and Alabama's motion 
the both the left side interior lineman jumped offside. Wide to the right. Fraley more of a threat with the pass than Jack O'Rear. Here's Fraley coming out. He drops back. Look, he wants to throw. He's going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage, and he is. Back at the 50-yard line. Good coverage by Tennessee because he couldn't find anybody open, and he swarmed down. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Alabama Football Network. Gives to Rick Watson. Watson over the 50-yard line to about the 48, and that's all. The line of scrimmage is the Tennessee 48. Sid Smith will snap the football back. He does. Rod gets it, gets his kick away. A fine, soaring spiral that goes to Morgan. It hits at the five-yard line and bounds quickly into the end zone. Took a Tennessee uh, bounce and went into the end zone for the touchback. First, Gales and Moore are the two setbacks behind Condridge Holloway. First and ten for the balls at their own 20-yard line. Here is the give to Gales, and Gales gets it to the 22. That's all. Good game tackling by the Alabama defense. Greg Montgomery was there. He's maybe calling an audible here, long count. And uh, he takes spins, gives to Morgan, and Morgan is really busted, but he breaks the tackle. Gets to the 24-yard line and down just shy as uh, Wayne Rhodes uh, finished him up. I believe that was Leroy Cook that really put a shoulder no. to him. I think that was Woodrow Low, John. It was, well, it had, the, it had the impact of a Woodrow Low lick. Woodrow let him uh, hit him super, let him slide off, and he injured his shoulder, his right shoulder. Here's Hundreds Holloway dropping back to pass. He throws. It is almost, it is it intercepted, intercepted by Alabama as Wayne Rhodes caught the tip. No, no. One official said he had, and the other comes in and says he did not. That's two this year. So maybe that was, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know what it was. At any rate, it's an incomplete forward pass. The intended receiver was Jim Richardson, and it is now fourth down coming with the line of scrimmage, the 24-yard line. Jerry Duncan, you might check and see how if Woodrow or Lowe was banged up on that at to what degree, and we'll come down to you in just a moment. After Claybo kicks, Shelby is deep. Here's the snap to Claybo. He kicks it, kind of a wobbling kick that Shelby hurries up for, takes in at his own 45-yard line, gets it maybe to midfield before gang tackling orange jerseys pull him down right at the 50-yard line. Jerry, what's the word? John, I, I'm not going to say anything for sure. I, I can't get to Woodrow right now. I'm down, he's down on the other end of the field. I'm, I'm going to move down out of way. Okay, Jim Embry made the stop on the Tennessee specialty team. 11-24 left to go in the first half. We have no score. Jack O'Rear, quarterbacks. O'Rear spins around. Gives to Mike Stock. Stock breaks the tackle to the 45, the 40, down to the Tennessee 37-yard line. Good twisting running before Andy Spiva, the linebacker, trailed back to bring him down. Good run by Mike Stock. Uh, Stock picked up Alabama six first down. So left and right on the first down call. Alabama at the Tennessee 37. Here is Jack O'Rear keeping up, pitching back to Billingsley. Billingsley trying to get outside, goes past the 40, cuts inside to the 30, down to about the 29-yard line. Excellent running by Randy Billingsley. McCartney finally pulled him down, but uh, Randy got a partial block, sort of a screen block, and that was enough to let him turn the corner, then wisely he cut inside. Wide side of the field to the right. Here's O'Rear running to the short side to Randy Billingsley. Billingsley gets his first down as he hurdles humanity down to the 24-yard line. Robert Pulliam had a hand on him. Hugh is wide to the right. Full house backfield now. O'Rear coming back. Pitches out to Stark. Stark trying to get around the corner to the 30, the 25, to the 23-yard line. And uh, Mike used some good speed, and he got Jim Watts, and Mark finally picked him up. But uh, he could have been thrown back of the line of scrimmage. Mike Stark doing a good job of getting around the corner. Incidentally, we saw Mr. Davis, Ricky's father. He was wearing a big badge, and probably so, saying, Are my son... Second down now, about nine, inside the 24-yard line. Here is O'Rear keeping himself, driving inside, gets it maybe to the 21-yard line, and that's all. He was hit by Walter, and I think that was uh, Ronnie Wheeler who came over from defensive end also. Good running by Jack O'Rear, who has the need, Doug, done a fine job. Inside the 21-yard line, Sylvester Croom over the ball. And here is uh, a problem in the middle of the line. I don't know whether Alabama caused it, but Tennessee had jumped offside. From the full house backfield, Rick Watson is at the point. Here is the give, the fake by O'Rear. He drops back. He wants to throw. He's going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage, and he's swarmed on the back at about the 33-yard line. Fine defensive effort by the Tennessee boys, led by Ronnie McCartney, and they throw him back at the 33-yard line. So Alabama might have been in field goal range. Well, he waits and snap, and they've taken too much time. The kick is in the air, and it's going to be no good. It's going to be short. Uh, but Alabama had taken too much time. Morgan is the deep man. 
so the punter will be angling for the uh, coffin corner on the left, and he kicks a low line drive that hit and goes into the end zone. He had it angled for the sideline. Let's pause. 137 Greensboro Avenue. Here's Country Holloway rolling to the right at the 20-yard line. Pitches back to Stanley Morgan. Morgan around right end goes to the 25, and he's hit down by Alan Pizzatola. It'll be second down and five. Or the volunteers. A little delay there as Condridge tried to break the field open for the speedster Stanley Morgan. And Pensatola made a good play. Three Alabama set right now. Long count. He has a to the right. Here's Condridge dropping back to throw. He throws. It is incomplete. Incomplete and out of bounds at about the 28 yard line. His intended. Yabro and Holloway having a word with the official, but this will be Tennessee's uh, fifth third down confrontation they have yet to convert they have not made a first down and we have uh, 709 left Alabama has really had quarterback problems this year third down now third and five from their own 25 for the volunteers Condridge Holloway long count he comes out spins in fakes once keeps himself pitches back to the outside and coming around to the 30 making the first down is Morgan he's up to about the 37 yard line before he's knocked out of bounds by Wayne Rhodes and Leroy Cook so Tennessee getting its first first down, its first third down. Holloway from the split backfield has the wide side of the field to the right on the first and ten call from his own 37. He pumps once, wants to throw, and it's almost intercepted by Wayne Rhodes. He could not hang on to it. Boy, it would have been a touchdown run for Rhodes had he held on to that one. There's nothing but green artificial turf between him and he jumped in front of Larry Sievers. Larry has caught ten passes. He caught a touchdown pass against LSU last week. But Wayne Rhodes almost came up with Alabama's defensive gem of the afternoon. Second and right, Severs to the left. Long count, Condridge comes out on the option. He's going to run the other way. Baumhauer gets him, and they're going to pull him down at about the 33-yard line. Baumhauer slowed him up. Mike Dubos came in to uh, finish up the play. But big Bob Baumhauer was the principal architect of that Alabama defensive stellar play. Condridge Holloway did not like the treatment of that play. Slammed the ball to the artificial turf. It's got Condrich Holloway looks. Long count. Alabama's loosened its the secondary up a little bit on an obvious passing situation. Condrich Holloway going back. He's being rushed. He slows. And it's intercepted by Mike Washington. It's the 38. Mike is coming back upfield. Running across the other way. Looking for help as he gets over the 50 to the 45 to the 43 yard line. Goes Mike Washington. Larry Sievers was the intended receiver. Washington jumped in front of him, tipped the ball, managed to get it anyway, ran up the field, and Doug, it looked like if he had gone wide to the left, there was almost a wall of white jerseys down that way. Instead, he cut back toward the middle. At any rate, it's a big delay, and Alabama has it at the Tennessee 43-yard line. After Mike Washington's interception. Robert Fraley is going to quarterback it. He comes in, gives to Taylor. Taylor trying to cut outside, does it the 40. Turns it under the 30, and is bounced out of bounds at the 25-yard line. James Taylor bumped out of bounds by Mark, and did he turn the speed on? That's something you commented a few moments ago when Stanley Morgan picked up a first down for Tennessee with blazing speed. Alabama threw a little speed at him that time with James Taylor behind a wall of block. Ground of the ball game as he took it to the Tennessee 25. Excellent running by Taylor. My thus far. Robert Fraley comes out and gives to his fullback Rick Watson. Watson battling to the 20 maybe to the 18 yard line. Hard running by Rick Watson. Spiva and John Murdick finally brought him down. A good seven yard run by Rick Watson. Here is Fraley coming out. Giving to James Taylor. Taylor threading his way close to the 15 yard line before Steve Poole racks him up at that point. So to in the first down area, we'll have to wait and see. They may have to measure this one. Robert Fraley looks at the orange defense. Here's Fraley simply keeping himself, diving in, getting more than enough for the first down at the 13-yard line. Poole and Spiver combined to make the stop. Fraley timed that quarterback sneak beautifully. Alabama. Now Alabama has it at the Tennessee 13-yard line. Here's Fraley coming in, giving to his fullback, who is hit for practically no gain. Rick Watson, that was Andy Spiver who barreled through, and David Page hit him low so uh, Rick Watson got a pretty good jolt there and he picked up as anything just about six inches so wide to the right the wishbone otherwise is intact Brady coming out keeping himself nice pitches back to Shelby Shelby turns to the 10 to the 5 to the 1 touchdown for Alabama as Willie Shelby getting a beautiful block from James Taylor and George Pugh on a crack back 
takes it in, and Alabama goes up. Final Tennessee, a 43-yard drive by a score of 6 to nothing with 3.53 left to play in the first half. And Shelby was hit. I, don't, I didn't see who the Tennessee tackler was, but uh, John Ferry's going to check it. It was Kevin Davis, and Willie managed to break it, keep his balance, and uh, when he saw the touchdown strike, the Purvis Mississippi Junior hurdled his way into the end zone. Six nothing Alabama. Robert Freddy to hold. Danny Ridge waited. Now, here's the snap. The kick is in the air. It is good. Time out on the field with a score: Alabama seven, Tennessee nothing. Good. It's seven to nothing Alabama with 3:53 to go in the first half. As Bucky, Bucky Berry right. is advancing on the football, kicking towards Stanley Morgan and Carruthers. It is Carruthers at the six. Coming up to the 15, to the 20, breaking away at the 30, moving outside to the 35 and pulled down from behind. That's the 39-yard line. And that was Thad Flanagan on the specialty team. Carruthers weaved his way through and was starting to the outside. A fine 33-yard return, and he almost broke it. Fine play by Thad Flanagan, making the stop at the 39. Condridge Holloway going in at quarterback, has thrown it four times, completed none, has had one picked off. Holloway looks at the 3-4. Alabama set, long count, and Holloway's rolling to his left. He trips and fouls back at his own 36-yard line. He stepped on the foot of his blocker, Harry Moore. As he started off around left end, he stepped on Moore's foot and couldn't keep his balance and went right. down. I wonder if he said, excuse me. <laughs> Morgan and Carruthers are the two setbacks with Fitzpatrick in the slot on the left. Here's Condridge on a draw play, giving to Morgan. Morgan's hit, breaks a tackle, gets over the 40, and he is really busted at about the 45 yard line. Stays on his feet. He's still moving to the 30, to the 25, the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, great run by Stanley Morgan. An unbelievable 64 yard scamper. And Morgan is being mauled by his teammate. A magnificent effort. Morgan was tilted right at the 45 yard line, and the tackler did not hang on to him. Any lesser man would have gone down. Morgan stayed up, and with his 9-4 speed, he just simply outran the Alabama defensive side back. So, with a dramatic 60 seconds of football here, we've had two scores in 55 seconds, and Ricky Townsend is in to attempt to tie the football game up. We have 2.58 left in the half. A magnificent run by... Morgan, here is the snap to Holloway, and it was no good, but I think Alabama was offside. So a bad snap from center, and that is a real great break for Tennessee because they could not have, have made the snap. So the Alabama boys are unhappy, but uh, it looked like the defensive right side of Alabama was definitely offside. So Tennessee will get a reprieve on the extra point. The score now Alabama 7, Tennessee 6, with 2.58 left in the second quarter. And... Uh, well, let's see, the officials are talking to both teams, the white jerseys and the uh, orange jerseys. And let's see, and I think they may be going to call offsetting fouls. Is that it? it no could, play or what? It could be. You know, on that, uh, it's against Tennessee. The illegal procedure. Declined, declined by Alabama. Declined by Alabama. So the extra point is done. No good. It is now 7-6. to six. There's timeout on the field. The score is Alabama 7, Tennessee 6. Well, you can bet the Tennessee fans did not like that call. And the Tennessee coaches went out onto the field, and uh, Condridge Holloway and a couple other Tennessee players talked to the referees quite a while after it, but nonetheless it stands. The extra point attempt, no good. It's Alabama 7, Tennessee 6, and we've got 2.58 to go in the, the first half. Ricky Townsend will take about a seven-yard run up. He kicks, a fine kick against the wind. That uh, Shelby, uh, no, it's going to bounce into the end zone. Bounces through the end zone, I think Taylor. Newsom wide to the right. Robert Bailey is quarterbacking. Here's the give to James Taylor. Taylor breaks off to the left, out to about the 28-yard line before he's pulled down by the Tennessee safety, Mike Mock. So Alabama stayed on the ground. So it's second down now and a uh, short two to go. And uh, they give us to Taylor. Taylor gets his first down as he gets over to the 33-yard line. Good running by James Taylor. Pulliam and Page with the uh, linebacker Hank Walter coming up to make the hit. So it is first down. Ozzie Newsom wide to the right now. First down and 10 call. Fraley is the quarterback. He gives to Taylor on a counter trap. Taylor over the 35. Hank Walter hits him. Brings him down. Hank Walter has uh, played a good football game. Washko was the point of attack blocker for Alabama. Jerry, that's exactly what happened. happened. Okay. Rolling out and giving to Willie Shelby. And Shelby is hit and spins away from one tackler. Gets it up to the 39. 
Ron McCartney brought him down, and it'll be a third down situation coming, and a, a, about a long four yards to go, we'll say. And the play comes in with Ozzie Newsom. The clock moves at either end of the Leland Stadium with a minute 10 left in the half. This is the 10th third down situation for Alabama. They've converted six of them. Make that. And Sylvester Croom comes out and over the ball. Fraley is back at him. Here's uh, the give to Taylor. Taylor is making that first down out to about the 44-yard line. Good running by James Taylor. Incidentally, he's number 27 for Alabama. Tackled by number 27 for Tennessee, John Murdick. But a good run. And with O'Rear, both almost about equally, O'Rear a little bit more maybe. Here's the give to Taylor. Taylor off the left side, and he gets over the 45-yard line, hurtling to maybe the 48 or 49. Hank Walter brings him down. And uh, the clock has stopped momentarily. Alabama's called timeout. Alabama has called timeout. So timeout on the field with the score. Alabama 7, Tennessee 6. Second and five at their own 49-yard line with 26 seconds left. Here's Fraley coming out, keeping himself, dropping back, looking, throwing, throwing over the middle, completed Jerry Brown to the 40. Inside Tennessee territory to the 31-yard line. Now, Alabama, I believe, is out of timeout. So, but they do get the clock stopped with, 17, with 15 seconds left, and they hurry back into action with the line of scrimmage at Tennessee 31-yard line. So the official says start the clock, and, and Robert Fraley takes, steps back, throws, and it's out of bounds, incomplete, stopping the clock with 10 seconds left. So Alabama, this is the situation. They have a strong wind behind them. Alabama brings it in, and too much time is going to be called on Alabama. They did a good job picking out Jerry Brown, his secondary receiver, on that last play. Here's Fraley dropping back. He is going to throw. He throws incomplete to Ozzie Newsom and out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Five seconds remain. John Murdick was the defender. And believe me, Ozzie Newsom draws a crowd uh, when it's a rather obvious passing situation. Here's the snap. It's placed down. Barry kicks it. He gets a lot of foot into it, but it's not enough. It's going to be short by about four yards. Yeah. So that wipes things out for the first half of play, and it's going to stand one during the typical Tennessee-Alabama tradition. That's the end of the first half of play with the score Alabama 7, Tennessee 6. We'll have halftime comments in just a moment. With Well, this is Doug Layton in his halftime at Knoxville, Tennessee, with Alabama nursing a one-point lead at halftime, 7-6. to six. On a play, uh, actually, Tennessee scored on a 64-yard run by Stanley Morgan. Then on the ensuing attempt for the extra point, uh, it uh, flags flew and bodies sailed, and after it was all said and done, Tennessee was called for illegal procedure, and Alabama uh, declined a penalty, so the point after was no good and that's how Alabama has it seven to six instead of this ball game being tied up and it was a typical Tennessee Jerry Duncan are you there it was a typical Tennessee Alabama defensive struggle for the most part of the first half but Alabama finally got on track took it 43 yards and six plays for the first touchdown of the ball game with uh, just 353 to go and then Tennessee came right back and struck on a 64-yarder by Morgan. What did you think of that run by Morgan, Jerry? Doug, it was a fantastic run. Uh, I thought Alabama's defense had ex played extremely well up until that point. I don't think uh, Tennessee had gained but one first down. You can correct me on that if I'm wrong. That's correct. Uh, but I'd like to go back to Alabama's offense. This is something that I, I think ought to be mentioned. Alabama has been running about 85% of their plays to the left, which would be to Tennessee's right. They have found somebody over there, either a defensive tackle, or a cornerback that they are really working on. Now, they, they drove the ball all the way down the field, uh, going almost uh, extensively to the left. Then they came back with a touchdown run uh, that went back to the right-hand side. But they have become extremely left-handed in this game. And I think we're going to continue to see it. I'm sure Tennessee is going to try to make some kind of an adjustment, and we'll just have to see if they can do it. You know, you're right, Jerry. In fact, uh, James Taylor was making some great runs behind that. Looks like a power sweep right to the left. They have found something over there, Doug. I don't know. Uh, I saw Coach Brown on the blackboard. He came over with Coach, uh, the deep foul who's heading up the offense, and I think they made the decision to, to just almost concentrate entirely uh, to Tennessee's right. You know, it's really funny, Jerry. Alabama and the after Tennessee had scored, it appeared that the Tide were content to just run the clock out to get this first half over with with a 7-6 lead. Then all of a sudden, Robert Fraley started going to the air trying to move the Tide into field goal position. Uh, wonder why. Well, Doug, I think what happens on, on, on that in that particular situation, first of all, they, they want to run the clock down to where uh, if they do, they know they're going to throw. And when they when they do throw, if there is an interception, uh, they want 
Tennessee not to have any time left to be able to do anything. And, and back to the interception, uh, I forgot who intercepted for Alabama there, but there was a great sudden change, and that's something that uh, Alabama has been really needing. Uh, as soon as the interception was made, there were two, two Alabama men who came back and wiped out a couple of Tennessee guys. It looked great. Okay, Jerry, thank you very much. We'll be back in just 60 seconds with more, but first, let's pause for this word from our stations on the University of Alabama Football Network. Attention with prices so high these days, it's nice to know that Townsend Ford is able to do something about it for you. While they last, you can really pick up a bargain at Townsend Ford on a new 74 Ford. And speaking of pickup, how about a tough but versatile F100 Ford pickup? for only $78.47 a month after $600 cash or trade. That's at Townsend Ford, Tuscaloosa's largest, on Skyland Boulevard. If your present car is about ready for a tire change, drive into Southside today and take advantage of Old Cuz's Michelin test ride offer. Old Cuz will install four new Michelin radial tires for you to test ride without obligation to buy. Tough steel belts give Michelin's extra puncture protection, and radial construction means a powerful grip on the road. Stop at the South Side today and take advantage of Old Cuz's special Michelin test ride offer. South Side, 2137 Greensboro Avenue. It's halftime in Knoxville, Tennessee, with Alabama on top of Tennessee, seven to six. And we're going to turn the microphone over here on the University of Alabama Football Network to our producer, uh, Burt Bank, who has the governor of the fine state of Tennessee with him. Governor Don, it's uh, wonderful to have you with us today. This is a tremendous classic. I understand over 70,000 people, but I want you to know your vows haven't been too good to the University of Alabama today. Bert, I think you uh, Alabama people have just kept us with our... Uh, our, our nerves right on edge because of the excitement of the kind of football you're playing. And Bucky Berry prepares to kick off. He will try to angle the kick away from Stanley Morgan, and uh, you don't have to ask why. He's kicking to Carruthers. The kick scores down, and the Morgan comes over. Carruthers comes over, takes it to the 6, to the 10, 15, trying to break through at the 30. He is pulled down at about the 31-yard line. And let's see. Alabama has alternated. On well, count by Tennessee, on the draw, he gives to Carruthers. Carruthers off the right side, gets to the 34-yard line, and he's pulled down there. Mike Dubose had a hand on him. Randy Hall was wrapped around his ankles. Hall and Baumhauer are your tackles. Leroy Cook is in there, Pizzatola, Wayne Rhodes. They send Yarbrough uh, wide to the right, Sievers to the left. Here's Holloway, second run, run pass option. He's going to run the football over the 35, the 40, and down at about the 41-yard line. He'll be close to first down yardage. Mike Dubose and Ronnie Robertson pull him down, but they still know his knee was down at the 40. From the split back there, long count by Conjure Holloway. He takes, he gives to Carruthers. Carruthers fumbles the football at about the 43-yard line. As they uh, die for it, it is Alabama's football. And Woodrow Lowe has come up with it. Woodrow Lowe has... The right side of the line, I think, uh, I believe Gus White had a hand on that. The ball popped loose. Low recovers the fumble at the Tennessee, we'll call it the 42-yard line. Robert Fraley will direct the tight attack. Here's Fraley spinning, getting to Billingsley. Billingsley, just about one yard. That's all on the counterplay. Page hit him down. The Tennessee tackles jammed it. They were trying to sort of a counter trap back to the left. Uh, Jerry Duncan, we're going to come down to you in just a moment. Here's Fraley coming up, being hit, throws. It is completed on the 30-yard line to Ozzie Newsom, who pulled a juggling act with Mike Mark draped around him, but Ozzie's sure hands pulled the ball in. So a good pass play. You know what? James Taylor in at right halfback. Willie Shelby at left halfback. Rick Watson at fullback. Here's the give to Taylor. Taylor cutting over the left side. The 25 down close to the 23. Mike Mark finally rides him down, but Alabama with the power to the left moved out well. You know, during the halftime, John, you missed it. Jerry Duncan pointed out that Alabama has found a weakness on the right side of the Tennessee, maybe a, a front lineman or linebacker or cornerback or something, but they are really working on the Tennessee right side of their defense. At the 24 yard, second and short. Here is the counter play to Taylor. Taylor, I believe, gets close to first down. Yardage at about the 21. Again, it was David Page and Pulliam that pulled him down. Washko blocking downfield at the point of attack. 
Here is Fraley giving to Rick Watson. Watson hard yardage over the 20, made it to the 18-yard line. David Page again. David Page came in to pull him down. The big junior from Franklin has played fine football for Tennessee. Second down now, a long seven to go. From the full house wishbone. Fraley keeping. Goes back now to Shelby. Shelby cuts inside of the 10, the 5, the 3, the 2. Shelby scores. Willie Shelby scoring his second touchdown of the afternoon on a 20-yard line ball. A beautifully executed play by Robert Fraley. And a fine tackle there by number 70 for Alabama, Larry Ruffin. So the uh, offensive linemen real happy with their, the way they kept Tennessee's penetration away. And a beautifully executed uh, option. And Willie Shelby from Purvis, Mississippi. To carry the fancy 5.9 average. He scored on the 13-yarder earlier, a 20-yarder this time, and uh, Danny Ridgeway will attempt the extra point. Here's the snap. The ball is placed down. The kick is in the air. It is good. That makes Danny 19 out of 19. Time out on the field with the score. Alabama 14, Tennessee 6. Help you get top 14 to 6 as Bucky Berry kicks off again. Here's the advance by Bucky. A spinning kick. It will go to Morgan at the 7. He is the speedster coming up to the 15, looking for the lane. He is hit at the 25 and swarmed down at the 20. He looks it over. Here is Condridge coming out, rolling to the left. Run pass option throws. It is incomplete. Incomplete at the 35-yard line. It was intended for tight end Tony West. So it will be second down and 10. Defending Ricky Davis and Wayne Rose. Lines are poised, very still, probably inaudible here. And Condridge gives to his fullback. Uh, Terry Moore, Moore over the 30 to about the 32-yard line, and that's all. Greg Montgomery hit him down. Paul Johnson was blocking at the point of attack. And it will be third down and about, well, let's say a long four to go. And Tennessee obviously moving both in the backfield and in the line. Right. Jerry, would you say that they're calling audibles down there and uh, having a little problem on the offense? John, I didn't hear you. Uh, we were commenting about the long count of Conjures Holloway on both of those plays, wondering if he was calling audibles and maybe the uh, length of time uh, hurts the Tennessee offensive uh, rhythm. Very long count. And come, Holloway comes out, he throws to his fullback, who's going to be hit behind the line. No, he falls forward to about the 29-yard line. Terry Moore running very hard, but DuBose and Pesatola came in good play. Uh, I was about to say that was uh, Leroy Cook, I believe, wasn't it? And Cook was underneath everything. Yeah, he's the one that got to him. I was going to say he made a great play that time uh, on the pitch out by Holloway from his defensive end spot. So the final scrimmage will be the 30. Claybo will kick against this breeze. The snap to Claybo. He boots it. A soaring sort of floating kick that Shelby waits for at the 29. He takes it in. Trying to find some running room. He darts up to the 40. Cuts outside. He's still moving at the 50. To the 40. To the 35. The 30. And he's going to go out of bounds across the way at the 30-yard line. One last man. And it was Neil Claybo, the punter. Had the angle on Willie. Willie was trying to cut back. Couldn't quite do it. And Claybo bumps him out of bounds. Great punt return by Willie Shelby, who has scored two Alabama touchdowns this afternoon and has put the tide in great shape at the 30. I know I wish you could watch the Alabama deep back blocking for Shelby. Robert Fraley still quarterbacking. He faced gifts to Culliver. Culliver breaks up the middle to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, and to the end zone. Great run by Calvin Culliver. Jay, we asked you where he was. We just found out. That knee couldn't have been too bad. He burst through, broke a tackle at the 12, and the Alabama offensive linemen are leaping up and down in glee as they have scored in front of the volunteers by a score of 20 to 6. Danny Ridgway, who came into the ball game having kicked 17 out of 17, now has added two to make it 19 out of 19. Now he will go for 20 out of the hold of Robert Fraley. 8.58 left. And uh, Shelby Ryan, a call of a run, twin comets for Alabama, paying off in six. Brady takes, puts the ball down, the kick is in the air. It is good. Time out on the field with a score, Alabama 21, Tennessee 6. Play for a 30-yard run right up the middle. Alabama 21 to 6 over Tennessee. Barry's boot authoritatively going down to Carruthers at the 4-yard line. Coming back to 10, 15, looking for a lane to the 20, the 25, out to the 30-yard line and down. Team out first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Fitzpatrick wide to the left. Holloway coming out, pitches to Morgan. Morgan breaks through, hits the 32-yard line on a jolting tackle by Wayne Rose. A beautiful open wheel shot. And uh, a little while ago, when Morgan made his great run, he was bumped. This time, he was tackled. Wayne playing over the nose defensively. Long count by Condridge, fakes inside, drops straight back. 
Only long throws. It is completed to Carruthers coming out of the backfield, and Leroy Cook butts him down at the 34-yard line. An Fine defensive play by Leroy again. An interesting note, John. That's the first pass completion by Tennessee this afternoon. Uh, Condridge has gone to the air only six times. That was the sixth pass. He's completed that one, and he's had one picked off. Tennessee has not made a first down in the second half. And third down and six. Things up. Again, long count by Condridge. He's rolling right on the run pass option. He's going to run it. Comes up field from the 35, getting out flat to the 40, and he's knocked down at about the 43-yard line. He picks up his first down. Pezzatola and Conley Duncan combined to make the tackle, but the elusive little quarterback from Huntsville has picked up the Tennessee's first first down of the second half. Pro set backfield from this beer attack behind him. Conry John runs a keeper to the left. He is keeping himself. Comes up field to the 50. He's hit and will be pulled down in Alabama territory at the 43-yard line by Ricky Davis. And Ricky, fine tackle as he hit him high like you're supposed to as Condridge was trying to find the daylight to the right. Ricky got him, pulled him down. But Tennessee's offense on the talented toes of Condridge Holloway has moved from their own 30 and they're inside the Alabama 45. We have 6.45 left in the third period. 21 to 6, Alabama leading. Tennessee at the tied 43-yard line. Again a long count and Condridge drops back. Look, comes once he wants to throw the medal. It's almost intercepted by Ronnie Robinson. He could not hang on to it. Condridge, I think, threw that one a little bit in desperation. Tommy West was in the vicinity, but Ronnie Robertson was in a lot better position for it. 6.32, the pass and completion stopping the clock at that point in the third quarter. Tennessee at the Alabama 43-yard line. Condridge Holloway, his quarterback all the way, drops back, being pressured. He's hit and pulled down. Super play by, Greg, by Randy Hall. Randy Hall flips his back and hits him at the 50-yard line. He tried to get away, or Greg Montgomery would have wiped him out, but Randy Hall, who has played a real good football game, at least in our impression and uh, looking at it, is midfield, the 50-yard strike at Neyland Stadium. Conjuge Holloway takes inside, drops back, looks, throws right over the middle. It is completed at about the 36-yard line. It'll be short, a first-down yardage, as Tommy West gathers it in, and Ricky Davis hits him down immediately at about, well, the official play, the 30 eight-yard line, really, and it'll be fourth down and a short five yards to go. Tennessee, I believe, will obviously go for it. Woodrow Lowe comes in to bring the defensive signals. Tennessee wants to call timeout to talk things over, so the clock stops with 528 left time out on the field with the score. Alabama 21, Tennessee 6. Claybo's in punt formation, but out of this, he has at least one time this year run the football. Pass is high, and he is going to punt it. He kicks toward the right corner. It is soaring down and in the end zone. Hits in the end zone, goes through for a touchback. One of the Tennessee boys is chasing after the speedster, uh, David Parsons. He couldn't get to it, and it's a touchback. Alabama's football at their own 20-yard line. Alabama has scored three times this afternoon. Two runs by Willie Shelby of 13 and 20. One run of Culliver by 30. And Stanley Morgan broke a beautiful 64-yarder for the Vols back in the second quarter, and that's it. In this quarter, it will be against them in the fourth quarter. Shamoon wide to the right. Here is the keeper by Freddy. Freddy driving over to the 25, to the 30, cutting outside to the 40, and simply running into the Tennessee bench as the Vols had him hemmed in at about the 43-yard line. So I think Freddy is under uh, advice from the coaches not to do anything too uh, uh, dangerous because uh, Jack O'Rear was bunged up coming into the football game, and I think he's gotten banged up a little bit more. He rolled him out of bounds, or rather chased him out of bounds to be more appropriate, at the 43-yard line. First down and 10 for Bama. Here is Fraley keeping. Now he pitches to Shelby. Shelby is hit. He breaks the tackle to the third, to the 46-yard line and bound. Bill Cole finally pulled him down, but Willie Shelby, who broke a tackle on the touchdown run, broke one then and picked up about three yards at, he, at the 46-yard line. Alabama possession, second down. Fraley giving to Shelby. Shelby hit by Ronnie McCartney after about a yard pickup. Good defensive play by Ron McCartney. Five yards to go on the third down situation. To give the Culliver. Culliver bursts over the 50-yard line into Tennessee territory. Close to first down yardage behind the block of Larry Ruffin. I believe it's going to be a little shy. Russ Williams and Andy Spiva come in to hit him down. Well, they're looking, and I think they're going to call timeout, John, to measure this and see if it was indeed enough for a first down. Alabama thus far has picked up 19 first downs to four for Tennessee. 
21-6, Alabama leading. They have the ball at the Tennessee 47-yard line. Robert Fraley keeping himself. Now he pitches it back to Shelby. Shelby outside over the 45, into close to the 42-yard line. McCartney and Cole came in to hit him down. I don't know, John, but those are hard stoppers. Fraley's throwing back as he's getting hit. And it looks like he's not even looking at Shelby, but every pitch thus far today has been right on the money. There, have been, there has not been close to a bobble on the pitch back. Wide to the left goes another man who can break the game is Ozzie Newsom. And here is the give to Shelby. Shelby gets to the 40-yard line and down. That's all. As Orange Jersey's gang tackle him there, Williams and Kevin Davis came in to help. So we have another third down call. and be third and about three. A third and a short three, actually. And uh, Tennessee puts a pretty tight six-man line there. They give it to James Taylor. He hurdles. And it's going to be close again right at the 37-yard line. David Page hit him in midair. Larry Ruffin and Washko were the blockers. And we haven't gotten any indication yet. They're going to measure again. I think James might have mistimed his leap. Here is Fraley coming out. Giving the Culliver. Culliver upended at about the 33-yard line. Again, big David Page came in. The Page has fine, played a fine football game for the ball. The 35, Ozzie Newsom is wide to the right. Here is Fraley giving to his fullback, who is Rick Watson this time, who came in a place in Culliver, and one of the Tennessee linebackers, Spiver, diagnosed that play beautifully, came in to jam it up for about a half-yard gain. Spiver slid in from his outside linebacker post, did a fine job of diagnosing that fullback. Shamoon, wide to the right. Full house backfield otherwise. Fraley comes out, pumps once, throws to Shimon, completed to the 25, and Shimon is down at the 22-yard line. Just that quick little pop pass hit that Heath and Cole knocked him down, but Robert Fraley really on target with that pass, Doug. You know, I was about to say, John, that this has been in a, a very neat drive with no passes. All of a sudden, Fraley wires one in to Rush Shimon, who picked up the tight's 22nd first down of the ball game. And ball is first and ten for Alabama with wide receivers left and right. Here's Fraley keeping himself, driving inside, and hit down at about the 21-yard line. A gain of one. He was hit by Kevin Davis, the defensive uh, right end coming in to make the stop after a one-yard pickup. Now we'll probably... And uh, Jerry Washko in the offensive line for Alabama now. Second down nine. Here's the sweep. Power play to Randy Billingsley. Billingsley in close to the 17-yard line before he is down. Spiva led a host of Orange Jersey Tennesseans to pull him down on the last play of the quarter. It will be at the 17-yard line. So that is the end of the third period with the score. Alabama 21, Tennessee 6. Third and five for Alabama at the 17-yard line as we start the fourth quarter. Here is Fraley keeping. Now pitching back to Stock. Stock circling into the 10. Cuts inside and is down at the six-yard line. Great running by Mike Stock as he cut inside. One of the side backs pulled him down. One of the Alabama offensive blockers shaking up a little bit. It was Ricky Heath who came up from secondary. And here is Robert Fraley, first and goal to the six-yard line, giving to his fullback who can't go anyplace, David Page. And uh, the linebacker, Spiver, again, I believe, was in on that, but Page was the principal man hitting Rick Watson down. And Spiver was underneath all of that. He's a fine football player, just a sophomore, so it's second down and five. Second down and goal at about the six. At the 21 to 6 is the score here. Brady keeping, drives inside, battles his way to the one foot line. Robert Brady making great effort on that keeper, gets it to the one foot line, and that was indeed a big play. Ricky Heath. Well, it's said about the two foot line. Ricky Heath made the stop. But of course, Robert Brady uh, is from Winchester, Tennessee. He's had kind of a hard luck career at Alabama. He's a hit pointer. And Fraley has gone all the way at quarterback since that time. It's third and goal at the look out at the one-yard line. Robert Fraley curling, keeping, being hit behind the line of scrimmage and pulled down. Good play by Pulliam as he pulls him down at the three-yard line. So we'll see whether Alabama will consider a field goal opportunity here, and they apparently are. The line of scrimmage will be the three, and we have... Robert Fraley will hold. Here's the snap. The ball is placed down. Ridgeway's kick is in the air, and it is no good. No good. Off to the left. Gales is in that halfback, and the pass is to Gales, completed at the 20-yard line, and Pizzatola busts him out of bounds at the 28-yard yard line. So a quick little pass to the speedy halfback, Mike Gales, who's a highly heralded sophomore from Cincinnati. And 
and uh, the out-of-bounds play stops the clock with 12.21. There's really no way to defend against that pass, uh, intercepted or anything, because uh, Pizzatola had to play it deep. It's just a flare -up. Trying to get his football team back into action. Here is the gift to his fullback, trying to get his first down. Greg Montgomery hits him uh, right at the 30. I don't know whether he got to the 30 or not. It was Terry Moore. And uh, we'll either know they say it will be third down and inches. Tennessee has been successful twice out of 11 third down situations. Taking the short yardage effort. So they punch the middle of the line a little bit. And Holloway takes a long time. He's going to run the keeper. Does. Gets outside. Makes his first down to about the 34-yard line. Ronnie Robinson throws him down with help from Greg Montgomery. So Tennessee first down is at number five for the afternoon. Two setbacks at the 33-yard line. First down and 10 for the balls. And Holloway dropping back, looking, pumping. He's got some time. He's throwing long. And it is incomplete. Mike Washington tipped it. Larry Stevers could not hang on to it, but Holloway went for the bomb all the way down to the Alabama 25-yard line. But Mike Washington was in an excellent uh, position. In fact, the sun might have bothered him a little bit, or maybe he might have made it an interception. But it was right on the sideline. Stevers got his hands on it, but by the time he did, he was out of bounds. So maybe Holloway will get some relief in a little while. Second and ten. Holloway on the fake draw. It is the draw to Carruthers, and Carruthers, Alabama really diagnosed that, knocking down no game. Actually, John, they had Woodrow low blitzing through on a linebacker blitz. Woodrow, Carruthers, and Morgan behind Condridge Holloway. Tennessee in the orange, going left to right. Holloway dropping back, looking, dropping. He wants to throw long. He's going to run it. He fumbles the football, diving for it. It's about the 40-yard line. Let's see. Alabama thinks they've got it in the official time that signifies they do indeed. So as they unpile, we'll pick it up. I believe Woodrow Lowe had it again. Woodrow Lowe came up with it. Condridge Holloway was tackled from behind that time and uh, didn't see the tackler, and he was carrying the ball loose like a loaf of bread. It was knocked loose. Woodrow came up with it. Finally had a hit on Condridge. Here is Fraley giving to Shelby. Shelby cutting to the outside, breaks the tackle to the 40, breaks the tackle to the 35, into the 33-yard line. Mike Mock finally pulled him down, but that was inspired running by Willie Shelby as he took the ball on sort of a power sweep to the right, cut, gave a little motion inside, and then swept outside. The tide in the wishbone with Robert Fraley directing. Here is Shelby on the counter draw, going to the 30, to the 25, the 20, and all the way down to the 19-yard line. Bill Cole brings him down, but the Alabama offensive line is ripping some big gaps in the Tennessee defense right now. Jerry, do you have any comment on that? First and 10. Whaley rolls back, gives to Taylor. Taylor sweeping left in. It's going to be hit right about the line of scrimmage, and in fact, I think he was thrown for about a yard loss. Good defensive play by the Tennessee balls. Linebacker Russ Williams. Uh, made the stop, but Pulliam and Murdick kept the play going outside. So it'll be second and 11 from the 20-yard line. Today, and then James Taylor is right half back. Whaley comes out. On the counter to Taylor. Taylor over the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5-yard line, and down goes James Taylor, shooting through there like a comet. And once again, number 27, Murdick, tackled number 27, Taylor, and if Murdick hadn't been there, he could have run. Is all Alabama's. Whaley. Counts, looks, gives to Culliver. Culliver bursts through over the left side, scores for Alabama. Calvin Culliver dragged Russ Williams into the end zone with him. Uh, Culliver put, it, put a pretty good move on, too, as he started right, slanted back to the left, and turned on those afterburners, and was that something to see? 27 to 6, Alabama over the Tennessee Volunteers, and Danny Ridgway, who had a perfect A-plus on his scorecard till he missed the field goal a little while ago, will now try for his... 21st consecutive extra point. We have 8.17 left in the fourth period. Here's the snap. Brady puts the ball down. The kick is in the air. It is good. Time out on the field with a score. Alabama 28, Tennessee 6. Alabama covered uh, 41 yards that time after the fumble recovery. The score. And here's the kickoff. Bucky Berry drills it. You can see the wind hold it. And Carruthers comes up and takes it at the 11. He's to the 20. North Morgan to the 30. To the 34 and down. That was uh, Stanley Morgan. I think he and Carruthers switched positions there, and maybe Alabama didn't realize it. But anyway, Morgan ran it back. He's got a 64-yard touchdown to his credit today, and he ran the ball back to the Tennessee 34. Good field position for the Volunteers. 
At the 34, first and 10. Condridge Holloway rolls to his left, fakes. Goes back to Carruthers. Carruthers slants over the 35, out to the 39-yard line, and brought down. Alan Pesatola and Woodrow Lowe combining to make the stop. Charles Hanna is in the football game now for Alabama, and is going for Tennessee at their own 39-yard line. Call it a short five. Here is Holloway throwing the ball, and Mike Dubose knocks it away. Mike saw the play, jumped high in the air, tipped the ball away. The intended receiver was going to be John Yarbrough. As it goes as an incompletion. I was going to say a while ago, there's really no way to defend that pass, but obviously there is. A flare back out. Holloway just turning around and throwing it to his right, but Mike Dubose was about six yards away from him and jumped high in the air and batted the ball away. Four-man Alabama rushing front. Holloway on a draw play. Gives to Morgan. Morgan breaks over the middle to about the 46-yard line. Should be sufficient for the first down. Gus White brought him down with help from Conley Duncan. It is first down Tennessee, so the clock stops momentarily with 7.18 left. Alabama out front by 22, 28 to 6 over Tennessee. Ten from their own 46-yard line. Conridge Holloway comes over, gives to Carruthers. Carruthers hit by Gus White at the 48-yard line, about a two-yard pickup. Good sharp tackle by Gus White, knocking the fullback down. And uh, over there to help out was Dick Turpin. So it's second down and eight. Back at Knoxville, Conridge Holloway comes out, spins, keeps himself, darts inside, gets over the 50 into Alabama territory. To about the 49, maybe the 48, before he is pulled down. Conley Duncan made the stop on it. Bail of tears at the 49-yard line in tied territory. Condridge Holloway pitching back. They're trying to get Morgan open. He's coming up to the 50-yard line. Gets away from one tackle, and he's really by the down at the line of scrimmage. Steve Ford was over there, and so was Ricky Davis. And Ricky came up and made a sure-handed tackle on him that time. And Alabama stands off to a very, very fine play. Ronnie Robertson scampering off the field. I think he made it. Here's the snap. Claybo's going to pump the ball, kicking for the side. Shelby just uh, lets it hit, and it rolls into the end zone. Tennessee had good coverage down the field, and uh, yours is a touchback, and Alabama will take the ball at their own 20-yard line. Johnny Davis is in there at fullback, freshman. Here's the gift to Duffy Bowles. Bowles over right tackle, gets it out to the 23-yard line. Andy Spiva made the stop. Johnny Davis is the highly heralded freshman from Lanier High School in Montgomery. Uh, he was then played a little bit against Maryland, and he got a... Once Tennessee gets it back. Second down now, and here is the give to James Taylor. Taylor breaks over left tackle to the 32, 33-yard line. And James Taylor has really done some fine running this afternoon. He's averaged 8.1 coming into today's game. I don't think he's hurt his average either. Greg Jones and Gary Rowe, a couple of second-unit defenders. Defenders for Tennessee bring him down real tribute, not only to the death, but to the coaches, the way they've handled this football team for this big game. Johnny Davis takes the ball, breaks over at the 35, up to the 40. The 45, the 46-yard line goes. Johnny Davis pulling his way behind the blocking of tight end Rick McLean, and Mike Mark finally pulled him down. And Doug, unquestionably, that was the problem because the clock has not moved since 4.38, and so we guess we'll have about four minutes left to play. Ralph Stokes getting ready to come in, I believe, from the far side for Alabama. In fact, he's been there most all day, I think, on the offense for Alabama. Here is a give to Davis again, and Davis gets it over midfield across to close to the 49-yard line in Tennessee territory. Uh, Ralph Stokes has come into the football game at left halfback. Here's the give to Stokes. Stokes breaks over left tackle into Tennessee territory to about the 48-yard line. Pulliam again made the first hit on it. Tennessee scored on a 64-yard run by Stanley Morgan, and uh, two or three tighters uh, had a a hand on Stanley, and one really uh, butted him, and uh, you think the uh, violence of that butt would have brought him down, but Mo uh, Morgan brilliantly uh, kept his balance, spun off, and he has 9-4 speed, and he showed every bit of it as he danced into the end zone. Third down now for Alabama, about three, and here is Fraley keeping himself, diving over, getting to the 45-yard line, and uh, tried to get across, but I'm not sure he got the first down yardage. If again, it's going to be close. It's going to be where the officials place it down. Nope, they, they didn't make it. I don't know. They may have to measure it. But no, they won't. No, not enough. Did not convert that third down situation. Comes in for Alabama, and he will kick against the wind, which has been pretty stiff this afternoon. 
His kick is high and hanging in that breeze and going out of bounds. He did not want to kick it to Stanley Morgan, and he almost kicked it up in the nickel seat. We'll see where the officials say it went out of bounds. They walk it back to the 27-yard line, and at that point, it will be Tennessee's ball, first and 10, with probably about 3 minutes and 15 seconds uh, left to go. And we do have Pat Lyon. Those of you who watch sophomore from Oklahoma City, Gales and Moore are the two setbacks behind it. And Pat Lyon is going to throw. He drops back, pumps, throws over, and Tommy West has the ball knocked out of his arms as he was really laid low by Colenzo Hubbard. Colenzo Hubbard really jammed him, and West is a little slow getting up. Second down and ten. Long count by Pat Ryan, the sophomore. He rolls that. He gives to his fullback, who is going for a loss. Conley Duncan. Conley Duncan read that draw play perfectly, came, uh, coming up, filling the gap, and dropped him for a yard loss. That was Mike Gales who was carrying it in a super play by Conley Duncan, who's a junior from Hartsville, Alabama. So it's third and long, third and about 12 yards to go on the 25-yard line, and we'd say uh, maybe a little less than three minutes. Here's Ryan on the possession down, rolling right, run pass option, looking. Dick Turpin is going to wrap him up, and he does, and he does, back at the 20-yard line, 21-yard line. Turpin and Colback, good defensive play by the two uh, Alabama youngsters. And Phil Cuevo comes in to kick with the wind. Let's see who will go back to receive the kick for Alabama. And I think it will be Ray Bolden is the way it looks. But they're they're going to play, maybe he won't kick. And here is the snap. Cuevo does punt it. They don't want to take a chance of uh, running it back, maybe fumbling it. It hits on the 30, rolls into the 20 then takes a sideways roll to about the 18-yard line and is down by the Tennessee team at that point. Well, no wonder Claybo has great average with his punting. <laughs> That's a tremendous kick that time, almost 70 yards. That'll be first and 10 for Alabama at their own 18-yard line. At the 18-yard line, first and 10 for Alabama. They give to Johnny Davis a big hole up the middle, and Davis doesn't need much as he takes it over the 25 to the 26-yard line and down. Sid Smith is in there at center. John LeBou is in there at a the halfback post. Mike Sto uh, Ralph Stokes also. Jim Embry made the stop for Tennessee. He's counting 1,001, 1,002. Here's the give to Davis. Davis wedging his way and fighting his way up to about the 30-yard line. Another first down for Alabama, and Doug, they've had a flock of them. That's right, Johnny Davis for Alabama at that time just picked up the 28th first down of the afternoon. And uh, Davis is a real bull of a runner. Alabama on the hash mark on the far side will probably just stay pretty much uh, on the ground there. And they give to Stokes. Stokes over the 30 from the 31. Hit down on a pretty good sharp tackle by the Tennessee left side. Spotter John Perry indicates Jim Wookter as Tennessee also goes to their bench. And I think that's going to be the end of the football game. That's it. And uh, the Alabama team is trying to pick up Coach Price across the way. And I'm not sure whether uh, he was resisting them, but uh, they won. And they have won the football game by a score of 28 to 6 over the Tennessee Volunteers. There is time. Uh, that is the end of the football game with the score. Alabama 28, remaining undefeated. Tennessee 6. We'll have some final comments in just one minute. 